Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Dark Reader extension. Uh, this is available for Chrome, Edge, Firefox, a couple other browsers as well. So once you install it, you could pin it up here. So if you don't know how to pin things, you go to your extensions and click on the thumbtack and that way it'll be pinned up here. And then when you're on a specific web page, you could click on it here and then you could turn it on. Now once it's on, you can see it goes into dark mode. So obviously many browsers have their own built-in dark mode setting. Uh, but this way you could do it for specific sites and actually change some other options as well. So if you want to change some of the brightness, you could do that. It works a little better when you can see the text. Contrast. And some of the other colors, sepia, grayscale. And then you check this box only for this website if you want. And when you're done, you just turn it off and it's back to normal. And then you could also have a site list. And then you could press Alt G to add this to your site list. So that way the site will be using the dark mode every time. And then you could have an inverted listed only as well. Then you have the more section here. So if you want to change the font, uh, you could do so here. So right now it's just a generic font. So if we Turn this on here, and when you turn the dark reader back on, you can see that font applies to it, and you can choose a different one, like that. And then you can turn the text stroke on and off, so we'll add kind of a stroke to the uh, existing text here. And then there's some other options here for the color modes. These are experimental themes. Static, filter plus, filter, dynamic. Then you have some configure automation settings here. And so if you want to have it change during a certain time or after sunset, or if you want to assign a keyboard shortcut, Alt Shift D to turn it on. Then there's this configure website toggling option. Enable by default, detect the dark theme. And if we click on our extension list here, Manage extension. That'll take us into the extension settings here, which there's not a lot of here, just on or off. Uh, site access, all sites, specific sites. Allow an incognito mode. And then remove extension. And of course, you could also remove the extension by coming here and clicking on remove from Chrome. So once again, once you install the extension, just go to whatever website, turn it on or off. Configure any automation settings you want. Configure any site lists that you want for inverting and not inverting. And then there's the more option if you want to change the font. And if you turn this off just by clicking the check mark, it'll go back to the default font. And then the text stroke, you know, on and off. Just by clicking the slider there. So I'll put a link in the description where you could download it and you'll be able to check out all the different browsers it supports and then just click on the one you want and take it from there. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.